Okay, welcome to Heat Conduction Through Metal. This is going to be a very, very short uh, video that's just going to basically show you how to do it. Um, I'm not here to give you any background, uh, it's just simply to show you how to do it. Um, we got the four uh, metal bars we got copper, brass, aluminum, and steel. Uh, the copper uh, looks like a penny. The brass is kind of yellow. The aluminum is, is definitely lighter and more flexible than the steel. And in some cases, steel is going to have a little bit of oxidation, uh, like rust looking uh, stuff there. So, uh, four push pins, <clears throat> uh, uh, some uh, uh, wax for dripping, uh, a little candle for heating, a clothes pin to hold the bar, a timer because you got to know how long it takes for the push pin to fall off. Um, lighter, I suppose, and your paperwork, including table of data and uh, some graph paper to, to make your graph. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drip some wax on the end of the candles, on the end of the, the bars, rather, using the candle. And I'm going to drip the wax and I'm going to place the push pin. I'm going to do this four times, one for each one. Now, what I would definitely be doing is waiting a little bit for this to dry before harden up, if you will, before you actually start doing the experiment. Notice, too, that uh, I got a little protection for the table here because it's pretty tough once this starts dripping to control it. So uh, let's fast forward a little bit to uh, a couple minutes having passed and the wax hardens up. And then we're going to go ahead and start actually heating the metal bars. And I'm just going to show you this um, I'm not going to wait around until this falls off because in some cases it takes a little while. But you're going you're gonna to kind of set your, your bar up like this. The push pin needs to be on the bottom. You need to have a little bit of room here on the end for the candle. At some point if your clothes pin starts to get a little bit too hot, smell funny, or actually catch on fire, don't sweat it. Um, what some people like to do is actually soak the clothes pin in uh, water before you start so that it, it, it doesn't uh, <laughs> catch on fire. But anyway, you're going to just basically go like this. Uh, hold it about a half inch, quarter inch above the flame and it's just a waiting game now. Uh, I should have turned on the timer but I didn't so let me do that. At any rate, make sure you keep track of the time because it's really important. You're actually going to put it on your table of data. Uh, there's three trials, that means you do it three times. Uh, for each metal and uh, each time you write down how many minutes it takes for the pin to drop off. Average them and that number in your average is going to actually be uh, how far you're going to run your bar graph up the, uh, the graph paper. So for steel you're going to have a bar, aluminum you'll have a bar, copper you'll have a bar, and brass you'll have a bar. Now if I could fast forward this to uh, some more minutes you would see the push pin fall off onto the paper and that's at the point where you stop the timer and you figure out how much time has passed. And that's really just about it. Um, you know again it's, it's a great way to observe different metals conducting heat energy and uh, I'd say you're pretty much good to go. So uh, good luck. Thanks.